Hey everyone, quick back chemistry basics here. Let's talk about reactions of monosaturides. Monosaturides are the simplest carbohydrates found in nature and they have a general formula CNH2ON. To understand what kind of chemical reactions that a monosaturide undergo, we must first figure out what is the functional group that the monosaturide possess. Well, most of the monosaturides have an aldehyde or ketone as a functional group. Hence, the chemical reactions that the monosaturides undergo will depend on these functional groups. These reactions are oxidation to give acids, reduction to give alcohol, reaction with phenylhydrazine, formation of ester with phosphate group, and dehydration that is removal of the hydroxyl group. Let's see each of them. Oxidation. The aldehyde group or the keto group or the terminal hydroxyl group can be oxidized to form acids. In case of glucose, the oxidation of aldehyde group leads to formation of gluconic acid. While the oxidation of terminal alcohol group leads to formation of glucuronic acid. Reduction. Reduction of aldehyde or keto group results in formation of alcohol. Reduction of glucose gives sorbitol, galactose gives telketol, mannose gives mannitol, and fructose gives mannitol and sorbitol. Reactions with phenylhydrazine. Under acidic condition, monosaturides can react with phenylhydrazine to give osazone. Osazones formed by different monosaturides have different crystal structure. For example, glucose and fructose gives needle-shaped crystals, lactose and galactose gives fluffy ball-shaped crystals, and maltose gives sunflower-shaped crystals. Esterification Glucose can be esterified to give glucose 1-phosphate or glucose 6-phosphate. Dehydration. Monosaturides, when treated with concentrated sulfuric acid, undergoes dehydration by releasing three molecules of water. The product formed during dehydration are called furfurals. The furfurals so formed are chemically active and can react with phenolic compounds like alpha-naphthol to give colored products. Tautomerization. This is a process in which there is a shifting of hydrogens from one carbon to the other to form any diols. Any diol formation is usually facilitated in the alkaline environment. For example, glucose can be converted to fructose by its intermediate any diol in an alkaline environment.